how are you? Yeah, good. No. Chris is here. Saturday Hi. Night. I mean, do you want some yeah. unicorn toast? <laughs> no, I'm good for the unicorn toast, actually, thank you. Are you sure? Yeah. How have you been? Um, all right. I don't know why I'm smiling, I suppose I'm just nervous, but um, the reason I've come here is because me and Jonathan have been told something. Jonathan's got a mutual friend, which is your ex-boyfriend, yeah? And we've been sort of told that you were missing him two days prior before Miles took you away, you know what I mean? Like, saying that I've got these urges to text you and stuff like this, and suppose he's blocked you off social media. I, I don't want you to turn around and think that I'm trying to split you two up. I'm not, cos we made up, that's fair enough. But Miles has been my mate for ten years, and the reason why I'm coming to you with it first is cos I feel like I want to give you the opportunity to sort of sort it out with him, cos I just feel like I'm just doing it to sort of look out for Miles, really. It just isn't what it seems to be. It was just like, it was like, I don't know, it was kind of like a shit band, like, you know, you boys have... I think we just okay, thought it was okay. funny. It, I think it does come across really bad, to be honest. It was before me and Miles were, like, proper serious together. I was just kind but of you taking can, But can you see where we're yeah, no, coming course, from? Yeah, no, of course, 100 us... if, if I was being deadly serious, I would have messaged him off my phone, like, being like, look, like, I want to get back with you, but I just done it off Chloe's phone cos, like, I don't want to message him, do you know what I mean? That would just thought it was funny. But there has been some sort of more recently, supposedly, from what he's been telling us that are a bit more not jokey, like you miss him and stuff like that. So unless that's another joke... No, I've then... never said I've missed him. I know Miles quite well, and I feel like he won't see the funny side of this. I wouldn't expect him to take it... Yeah. ..well. No, cool. And um, just be sort of prepared for that, I guess. Yeah, all right, well... See you later, all right? Bye. Um, have a good night. He has made that sound a million times worse. But looking back now, like, it was so stupid. Like, I definitely shouldn't have done it. How you doing? Good, you? Not bad. You all right? Yeah, um... Chris came round at, last night and, um, he brought Sank up to me. What? Um... So it's, it sounds a lot worse than what it actually is. What? I was with Chloe and we just thought it would be, like, Funny, you know, it's, looking back now, it's not funny that if I like messaged my ex off her phone because obviously I'm blocked off everything. And um, wait, wait, hang on, start again. So I was with Chloe, so like, there's been two messages. What you messaged your ex, yeah, right. And um, I sent him a message with, with my email, right. and, like this was this was when before we went to Amsterdam, so like we, were, we weren't like serious then. And um, I didn't bring it up to you because it's nothing, and I feel like it's going to be made out into a bigger thing than what it actually is. So I'd rather tell you. Hang on, you said that. So you said that's twice when you messaged them. Yes, yeah, so that was the first time. And the second time was when I went to Harry Potter World with Chloe. We passed his house, so I took a picture of his gates and I put ha 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 throwback Thursday. But he didn't reply to any of them. But I'd, like, I'd, like thinking back now, I probably shouldn't have done it. So what do you think if I did it? That I'd be off but that there's no substance behind it like it wasn't like i was begging for him back or stuff like that that's what i want you to understand but like, if just... he replied what would have happened i wouldn't have i just wanted to see if he would reply why i don't know you've been like ridiculously strong with me do you know what i mean yeah, because like, i really like you so why would you message rex but i didn't message him like that i didn't, I didn't message him with a conversation i've only found that out because chris has come, like basically told you to tell me yeah so I just think, like, what else is there that either I don't know about or someone else hasn't found out about? Oh, God, that is it. Seriously. I don't really know what to say to you, to be fair. Mm. I need to go and have a think, yeah, cos you've made an effort, yeah, to go and text your ex. There's clearly unfinished business. There is no feelings. If there was feelings with me, I wouldn't Listen, be with I, you. Think, I did not expect something like this to come up. I think you're an absolute limit. <laughs> 